What up guys? Josh from Painting by Josh here. Hey, I'll just give you a little bit of an insight and a rundown on what I like to do when I'm going through um, doing a full interior. I like to do a perimeter um, tape and paper around every bottom of the skirting board. There's a few reasons for this. One of the reasons is, you know, you never have to worry about all your drop sheets completely up against the back of the kickboard or your skirting board because in saying that, you know, if you've got your tape and paper out to here, well then, you know, you're not, you're not having to constantly worry about kicking up and having your drop sheets all the way up to the end. And, and to, uh, when you want to go paint and all this, you don't want your drop sheets hitting all your fresh paint, obviously, also. And another reason, when you're going through uh, painting your bottoms of the skirting boards, no matter what, on carpet, you're going to be picking up uh, dust. No matter how clean your carpet is, guys, you know, you're definitely going to be picking up uh, little bits of fluff and dust and everything like that. So the best thing for that to do is um, obviously cover it with some uh, tape and paper and you solve that problem. And another thing, if you're brushing, you can just slap it in. You don't have to worry about getting any paint on the carpet. You don't have to cut it. For the second it takes to tape it, you're going to save a lot more time down the track. One other reason, if you're rolling, guys, if you're rolling your wall, you've got, you know, your tape and paper out to here also. You're eliminating a lot of overspray or splatter when it comes to spraying. If you're spraying your skirts, you're brushing your skirts. If you're rolling your walls, having that protection there, that far out is always uh, a much better idea than just having your drop sheets pushed up to always to the end. Uh, here we are, guys. What I'll do, I'll, um, using the eye clip, Sticks awesome on carpet too, so we don't have to really worry about that. Uh, but usually what I do guys, I go through, I do a section, I do gap, I mean I do go through first. I, I will vacuum the edge, always just no matter what, just get as much fluff and dust up as I can. But here we go guys, what I'll do, I'll just put yous here, show you exactly what I'm going to do to eliminate any problems when it comes to painting. Alright, so always grab it here. Obviously, pull it right to the end, stick it down into the corner. But as you can see, guys, the way I've done it, see how it's like this. So what it's what it's pretty much sitting there. You've, you've just got a little bit of a beveled edge. Um, so what I'll do, I'll push it like that down, right, and that way, as you can see, it's pushing all the way in. And then what I'll do, I'll grab my blade okay and I'll just pop it in like that and what that does you're pretty much putting it all the way down into the corner and when you go into paint now you can just slap that in you don't have to worry about picking up any car uh, fluff or hairs you don't have to worry about getting any on the carpet you don't have to worry about your drop sheets Going all the way to the edge, it eliminates a lot, a lots of problems. It only takes, you know, five minutes of room, and it's going to save you a lot, a lot of time down the track. As you can see, where I've done already, I've done all around this area. You see how I've done it. Want to keep it right in there and sharp down there. So once you pull this up, guys, you're going to have um, no problems with seeing that edge or anything like that. It's going to be exactly 100% the way we want it. So. Thanks for watching guys, peace out, positive vibes.